Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. One of my uh, favorite people to get on is uh, my friend Tony Powers. He does a great job. He's a radio, uh, radio man extraordinaire. Uh, I talk, uh, I talk US dot com. Is that correct? That's it. Yeah, making uh, me growing and going every single day. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the news the story that caught my eye is the fact that former Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak was released uh, over the weekend. And uh, you got to sit there and look at that situation. Uh, that can't go over very well by anyone in the uh, mob, be it the uh, Muslim Brotherhood or the moderates or the Coptic Christians. None of them, although the Coptic Christians miss. <laughs> Miss Mubarak, but uh, I mean, they, n- none of them can be happy by that. What, what did you think about that? I, you know, it's kind of wild. I, I just heard that myself, and uh, I'm like, uh, what are they doing? <laughs> well, it seems to me like uh, the new military regime. I don't know. Maybe maybe they're uh, missing old Hosni. <laughs> you know, maybe they went back. Things were a little better then, I think. Oh, there's no question they were. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they were better for everyone. They were better for the U.S. They were uh, better for Israel. They were better for the vast majority of the Egyptian people. I mean, I'm just, you know, like them, dislike them all you want, but I'm just talking in terms of reality. Uh, it was better. And, and this new regime, uh, you know, the, the, the government of the, uh, you know, Morsi and this new government, uh, all of it looks uh, like pandemonium. Uh, Rand Paul over the May weekend, really good job of, uh, you know, beating the drum as to why in the world are we giving financial aid to these people? Uh, how do we give, you know, billions to a country that is, is literally uh, killing hundreds in the streets? Uh, good questions that are re- pretty much being unanswered. Talk a- about that. Well, you know, it, it does seem strange that we would continue to send aid, at least at this point. Uh, you know, I think maybe they are, we ought to just, because nobody there likes this, you know. No it, no side likes this, so let them fight it out and let God sort it out. And then we can come in after it's over and see what's left. But uh, I don't see a democracy forming there. Uh, the whole idea of the Muslim Brotherhood running that country uh, was crazy from the start. Uh, the fact that we supported uh, that regime uh, while they uh, just clamped down on Christians and the Coptics and, and, and of course, wanted to bring in Sharia law and, and, and create a caliphate there. It just uh, made no sense. No. So, you know, our policies make no sense. And so the best thing for us to do, I think, at this point is just is stand back and, and just see what happens. Yeah, no question about it. Tony Powers talking to him. Uh, I talk us dot com. Great radio personality. What are you? What are you talking about a lot these days in your program? Oh gosh. Well, you know NSA and uh, you know all the spying that's going on uh, on American people. Uh, you know on U.S. citizens. That's got a lot of our listeners uh, upset. And of course, all the other phony scandals that are going on. Uh, we're still. Uh, talking about that quite a bit. The president, who thinks he is our emperor now, uh, and, and can just uh, declare by presidential fiat that uh, uh, different groups uh, are going to benefit uh, from Obamacare and other groups aren't. And, of course, the idea that Congress would exempt themselves from Obamacare uh, has got a lot of people angry. So there's, <laughs> I mean, there's so much. It's like... Uh, uh, fertile ground for conservative talk radio these days. Yeah, tell me about the uh, you know you, you said phony scandals. What were what were you alluding to? Uh, <laughs> well, let's see. We've got Benghazi. We've got the IRS. Uh, you know, uh, harassing conservative groups. Uh, we've oh, so you didn't the, say phony. You said many scandals. Well, I well I was being facetious. About ah, there you go. Right. You're using the liberal narrative that I try to get my, my brain dislodged from every single day. Yeah, so uh, we did get that. You did talk about the, the spying, spying God, gone wild. Uh, Britain detains the partner of a reporter tied to uh, the leaks of Snowden, uh, the partner of Glenn Grenwald, the journalist toward the Guardian who has been publishing information leaked by the former NSA contractor Snowden, was detained for nine hours by the British authorities could lead to arrests. That's interesting. Uh, this thing continues to, to uh, have a ripple effect. Well, you know, I tell you, we just keep seeing our our, um, our rights just being taken away, our 
our Constitution being ripped apart. And, you know, I, I tell you what I'm really excited about these days. Mark Levin's new book, I don't know if you've had an opportunity to read it yet or not, uh, but it is very exciting, and I'm getting uh, just a huge groundswell of uh, people writing in and calling into the program uh, who are very excited about uh, the possibility of uh, of a constitutional convention. And let's, uh, let's turn this thing back a little bit, do away with the 16th and 17th Amendments, and, and uh, let's start having senators uh, elected by the legislatures in the states and have senators start uh, representing the states again uh, instead of uh, Washington, D.C. and the special interest there. Uh, I think it's a great book, and it's uh, it's very exciting. And, um, you know, the Tea Party folks are really getting behind this. I, I see kind of a groundswell. And with 34 states already saying that they won't, uh, they won't carry the, uh, they won't put together the exchanges for Obamacare. 34 states is all we need to get a constitutional convention started. Yeah, yeah, you would think the, uh, the the environment looks pretty ripe, and I think a lot of people are now really questioning the 17th Amendment. You know, and it's interesting, 10 years ago, I would say that you would never, the, the vast, 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 including even conservatives, would have no idea what the 17th Amendment was all about, you know, and, and, and the fact that it had to do with uh, going from senators elected by the states for the purpose of of protecting the states from the federal government. All of a sudden, there's this huge awareness, you know, and uh, I, I'm with Limbaugh about talking about the uh, low, uh, low informed and low educated voter. I agree there's a lot of that out there, but we also have a level of awareness of some of these areas that we've never seen in our lifetimes. Oh, yeah, and, and, and with the Tea Party, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a bit of a cold, uh, but with the Tea Party and the way that uh, they are making a huge comeback right now, I see a huge gra- gra- grassroots groundswell coming in 2014. Uh, we have in Georgia and South Carolina, we have uh, Lindsey Graham, uh, who is probably going to be primaried and defeated. Uh, in Georgia, Saxby Chambliss, who uh, stepped down because he knew he couldn't win and would probably be primaried. Uh, these rhinos are going. Uh, the Republican Party, I think, is being changed from the inside out. And I really am hopeful about 2014, and I think we're probably going to take the Senate, but not just with uh, GOP rhinos and the establishment, but with the uh, constitutional conservatives. And and then with uh, this Levin book and the groundswell that we're seeing out there uh, to actually get back to the ideals that our founding fathers put in place in our Constitution, um, I feel optimistic. Yeah. Yeah. What's interesting is that, of course, the rhinos keep saying that, you know, uh, they, they looked at the 2000 and, uh, 2012 election results for U.S. Senate candidates and they said, look how terrible, uh, the, the extreme conservatives did. The only contested open seats that were out there were won by far the most conservative candidate in the beginning of the races. And so, to so me, that's the, you know, let's look at the reality, not at the, re- at the rhetoric. Oh, yeah. Well, there were only a few uh, losses, and those were losses that uh, were, well, they were apparitions. You know, you look up at Delaware and what happened there, and and they, they like to point to those <clears throat> outliers, but uh, actually we had, a, we had a good senatorial uh, run in 2012, and I think in 2014 we're going to take the Senate, and I really do believe we're going to start sending more constitutional conservatives up like Mike Lee and... Uh, in Rand Paul. Hey, you're and, in Texas. You're, in, you're you're talking to Texas now, buddy. Can't, oh can't, yeah, and Ted Cruz. Yeah. Can't forget that. <laughs> and you know, I'm I'm really oh, I tell you what, I love Ted Cruz. I hope he runs for president. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. You know, he was born in Canada, so you know some of our our real uh, hardcore friends uh, have a problem with that. But uh, you know, he was he was uh, born by parents who who were both U.S. citizens. So, which you know. That wasn't well, the case yeah. with our last, our current president, one, one of which was definitely not a U.S. citizen, regardless of where he was born. So uh, it's interesting conversation, as always, whenever I have Tony Powers uh, on. I'm about to have to let you go. Tell us uh, where people can get more information about you and the great work you do. Well, just go to iTalkUS, or you can follow me uh, on Twitter at Powers to Peeps. That's uh, P-E-E-P-S. 
uh, or you can uh, follow me online at Powers of the People on Facebook. I follow him all the time, and I've been accused of stalking, but I don't follow that way. Come on, don't be weird. Hey, Tony, <laughs> thanks for being with us, my friend. My pleasure. All right. Have a great day. You bet. You too. When we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at usdailyreview.com. In case you didn't know it, you're listening to The Price of Business.